Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about the new trailer for the Revenant Elite Specialization in End of Dragons, The Vindicator. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so early for me. I woke up because I said I need to get on this as fast as I can, and I am trying to do my best. But ArenaNet has launched the trailer for the Revenant Elite Specialization, so let's take a look at it and talk about all the little details I can pick out of it. It's to YouTube channel where we will be watching the new trailer. I'm going to watch it once through first, no stopping, and then I'll go back, slow it down, and pick out a couple things and talk about the dialogue and all the sorts. The Kurziks and Luxons were bitter enemies, but their greatest champions, St. Victor and Archimoris, united to help slay Shiro the Betrayer at the cost of their own lives. Vindicators call upon the strength of their legendary alliance, channeling both heroes' skills to devastate their enemies and protect their allies. They use great swords to deliver massive attacks and crush foes by leaping straight into battle instead of dodging. So first and foremost, my very first impressions. Once again, for some reason, much like the Willbender, when I first saw this trailer, I was a little underwhelmed. I don't know why. I'm having such a hard time getting a lot of, you know, enjoy or excitement out of the very first time I watched it. But understanding I had the same reaction as with the Willbender, I actually did go back and watch it a couple more times and I slowed down some of the scenes and the animations. And doing that for some reason actually made me more excited. I genuinely, hey, my mind is an enigma. It's a mystery and I'm not really here to solve it. I'm here to go along with it. So that was my very first impression. I don't know if you experienced the same thing, but once again, if you have, that is totally fine. Not every elite spec has to be your absolute fave, yada, yada, yada. But I would recommend going back, watching it a couple times. And once again, this is only a teaser trailer. Friday, we will get all of the information but now let's actually go through and touch on some of the aspects that we have seen in this trailer first and foremost the dialogue i love that with this elite spec it's so heavily rooted in lore that the dialogue talked about the kurziks and luxons saint victor and archimoris personally speaking i'm now just playing through factions for the very first time on stream wednesdays so i don't actually know or have any reference for who St. Victor or Archimoris are. I don't know their skills, who they necessarily were. So I'm kind of going into this completely blind. But that being said, I think that could also bring some more fun to it. But nevertheless, we are, it appears, going to be able to channel two legends at once with the Vindicator. The very first frame that we really see on this trailer, just pause it right here. You can notice that behind one of the characters, one of the Revenants is a more red aura and the other is a more blue aura. So we have this duality going on. Now this could, I kinda hope, mean that we are getting two legends to channel with their full utility skills, fleshed out, all that stuff. Or this could mean we're only getting one legend and another is like the professional mechanic where you're just temporarily channeling the other one. Not exactly sure how this is going to work, but it did set up and make it feel as if we will be channeling both at the same time. Now, if we are channeling both at the same time, I would actually prefer this. I have thought of a, a situation in the past where an elite spec actually gave us two legends to use at once. Considering how few legends uh, revenants have and how few utility skills they have, because their utility skills are, of course, tied to their legends. And this would allow them to have a little bit more flexibility, be fleshed out a little bit more, have a little bit more build craft and build theorizing. 
which I would really enjoy considering I am just full like full steam ahead on open world build crafting. So that was the most interesting aspect that I noted. And now we're starting to go a little bit more into the actual skill effects, the weapon abilities, and perhaps a new dodge. So let's go through a little bit frame by frame. We have the character looking at their sword, the Vindicator, and then we see a very quick rush forward. Now, with the dialogue and with the images shown, the dialogue might be talking about certain skills out of order, mostly the, the dodge mechanic towards the end, the narrator, narrator said that Vindicators will be diving and leaping into combat rather than dodging. So when I went back and watched it multiple times, I was like, okay, so some of these things could be out of order. And this very first shot, I was like, oh, is this the dodge? It could be, it definitely could be, but I also think this is maybe a great sword ability to actually get into combat, who knows? But it does have that very, standard mist effect when revenants dodge. If not, this is a standard revenant greatsword ability, which seems to be chained into this second frame where he kind of swings and spins and applies a bit of chill to the target. And next we see a, another slash with a more AOE effect and probably some more auto attacks. Next we see even a greater leap. Now this looks to be a little bit more like a utility skill or maybe a profession mechanic, mostly because it seems to cover quite a decent range. I don't know if they would necessarily give such great range to a dodge skill. And then they summon a spirit. Now this was the most visually exciting that I saw. This summoning of a either a Kurzig or a Luxon with a spear. Now, of course, we're not getting spears yet, and it's so sad, they keep teasing us. But this character, this spirit, you know, is summoned and has a giant lance and appears to be charging it up only for them to throw it at the enemy. And also, that spear is awesome looking, might I just say. Big hit, big strike, not exactly sure what it does, if it does any condition damage or if it's just a really big, powerful hit. And then we see another auto attack chain, I presume. You're applying some vulnerability and then also a little bit of chill, perhaps on the final strike, very reminiscent of Necromancer. And speaking of Necromancer Reaper, we have a, another ability for the Great Sword, which kind of mimics the Gravedigger animation. It's a great animation. And this, you charge up mist energy, it appears, and it randomly, perhaps, starts splashing pockets of mist explosion in the area. One reason why I say randomly is that now we are on the, the enemy's camera point of view. We are no longer on the Revenant's point of view and we can actually see these red rings spawn seemingly randomly around the Revenant, just exploding. So this would be a great AOE pressure while you are in that fight, gaining a lot of access to those hits. And then we see the Revenant go into a blocking phase, presumably a great sword ability. I do think this is considering how they're holding the great sword. Some, some light magic, some mist energy, maybe healing up and then only to use a larger attack to evade backwards with some resistance application. And then we see this beautiful animation of him charging up to shoot into the air, which we haven't seen on any player ability, only really bosses, to land down, creating a breach in the ground, some lovely revenant energy. Now I wanna kinda talk about this a little bit. This ability animation is activating. The dialogue talks about the dodge mechanic being perhaps changed. I don't think this is the dodge mechanic. I mean, it'd be really awesome if it was, it'd be really grand, but I can't see them going this intense on the dodge, where the dodge is now a full invuln, just out of the game to just look at your location to just then shoot back onto the ground, creating a giant AOE breach. I kind of think this would be maybe a great sword fifth skill. Don't, yeah, I think they were kind of just maybe misdirecting us with that. I think that would get a little crazy in World vs. World in PvP, just, having multiple revenants dodge rolling onto you, creating these massive AOE skills. Also, I just made a video about AOE radii and other combat in interactions, so go check that out. <laughs> I kind of like warn about this potential occurring, 
But overall, I think the, vir- not the virtuoso, it already starts with a V. The Vindicator, oh my gosh, I can't speak. I think the Vindicator is looking pretty interesting. It is also the more ritualistic esque icon so my friend smudgem called it and uh, i'm just so excited to see more i'm really excited to see if we are channeling to legends i would love if we are i would want to see the traits i want to see the the full fleshed out weapon and these are more so just teasers but they are giving us some idea of what perhaps this elite spec is going to feel like so thank you everyone so much for coming by like the video if you liked it comment below your thoughts about the trailer if you liked it any cool skills, effects that you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Guild Wars 2 videos. I'll be covering each trailer that pops out this week, and of course, the live stream on Friday. So if you'd like to help support the channel, I have a link down below for my Patreon, and I'm also an unofficial Arena Net partner, which means you can pre-order End of Dragons, purchase the expansions, and try the game for free if you would enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone! Mwah.